Whole houses, cars, and mangled pieces of debris are adrift and headed this way as a result of the devastating Japan earthquakes. There was 25 million tons, roughly, of total marine debris. The debris is roughly headed, you know, from west to east, and depending on, on which track it's taking, it could end up uh, up along Canada, the northwest U.S., or down here in Hawaii. Despite the vast Pacific Ocean, the floating debris could overwhelm the fragile northwestern Hawaiian island ecosystems of the Papahanao Mokuakea Marine National Monument. Some of the marine debris may impact uh, or come ashore in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands out near Midway and Kure Atolls uh, as early as uh, early 2012. Even though humans may not live on these islands anymore, the northwestern Hawaiian Islands are home to diverse species of wildlife, many of which are endangered, including the last 1,200 wild Hawaiian monk seals. The monk seals are not the only ones facing the threat, but many birds, turtles, and other marine organisms could face their own extinction. Fishing nets, uh, other types of marine debris are an entanglement hazard. The plastic ingestion, it's a serious problem for bird ingestion and uh, it kills millions of birds. The debris that are floating out in the Pacific affect not just the animals and the wildlife, but all who are connected to the ocean. It can also be a hazard to nav navigation for shipping. In terms of long-term impacts of plastic in the water, there's lots of research and studies going on about how the, uh, the chemicals that leach out of the plastic are changing uh, our body chemistry and the chemistry of the water and the animals that live in it. So we're going to be seeing the impacts of this for years. NOAA and other agencies are aware of the potential impacts and are trying to devise strategies to tackle this immense problem. We're, we're trying to get some eyes on out there. We're trying to get some assistance from the Coast Guard and the Navy and the Hawaii Air National Guard uh, through their satellites to get us some information about what's out there. Um, in the meantime, we're trying to come up with a, uh, a response plan. If you would like to learn more about this topic, visit oevi.tv. This is Kaino Rudolfo. Aloha.